Well, first, I wanted to take another look at that live campus camp. Boy, it's just beautiful out there. This campus is amazing. I love it here. Although we do have a warm up on the way. So this colder air mass right here is going to be moving off to the northeast. And this warmer air mass is going to be moving into the state more as that cloud cover moves out of the area. Welcome back to OU Nightly. Look, the hue of the sun has changed. The sun is starting to set. Sunset time in Norman is 521 tonight, but right now it's 57 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. And because of all this humidity, we'll have fog tomorrow morning. Now visibility will be less than a mile in some areas. So be careful on your commute tomorrow morning to work. And that is an issue when we're talking about the drought monitor. So the drought monitor just came out today. It's Thursday. They always come out every Thursday. Looking at the panhandle, we are in an exceptional drought out near Guymon, and that is a bad story when we're talking about fire weather risks. Today was kind of sniffly and will continue to be similar to this picture. Tomorrow, weeds, trees, and mold are our biggest contributors. And then on Wednesday, it'll be our worst day for allergies as weeds, trees, and mold will have all gone up another level of Hurricane Florence. So this is really great footage taken from the International Space Station, of course, of the hurricane as it's currently a category two storm barreling down on the coast of the Carolinas as those outer bands are affecting it. Switching gears, we're going to look at our smart R radar truck footage from inside the truck. So this is live footage taken from OU's research radar truck. Happy Halloween! I'm Jenna Warner and this is your OU Nightly Weather Brief. Trick-or-treating will be pretty warm for this time of year. We'll be in the 70s until the sun starts to set at 6.36 p.m. And then we'll dip into the 60s, reaching the 50s by 9 o'clock tonight. It'll start to get dark out there pretty quick, so you might want to have a flashlight to guide the path for you as you walk around through the houses and trick-or-treat a little bit. This weekend going into next week, we're going to be above average for this time of year. That's what these red shades mean, above average. The blue shades do mean below average, so northern parts of the U.S. are going to be colder next week. Tonight in Norman, we'll get down to about 47 degrees and we'll have some partly cloudy skies. That wind is going to stick around. And so this is your game day forecast as we have our homecoming game as we take on Kansas State at 2.30 on Saturday. So we'll be in the mid 70s at kickoff and it will be mostly sunny. A few clouds will be rolling about, but overall it'll be a great day for football. Welcome back to OU Nightly. It sure is a beautiful day out there, but it is a hot one. It's currently 95 degrees in Norman, and we have a little wind doing us some justice, but we will be above average through the next six to 10 day period coming up here. If we take a look at the allergy index too, I have definitely been suffering from my allergies this past week and going into this week, weeds and tree pollen are high, so that's the cause for your sniffles. Now, it has been pretty dry out there in Oklahoma. It's been 17 days since we've seen about a fourth of an inch of rain in Norman, and it's been 22 days in Idabel since they've seen any decent rain. So we are definitely still in a drought. Around this time of year, Norman will have seen 28 inches of rain in total, and right now we're sitting in about an eight inch deficit. But putting it all together, planning out your week ahead. So we do have some good news. We have a cool front hitting around Thursday and it will impact temperatures a little bit, but we have an even stronger cold front coming through Sunday morning as temperatures will drop back around average for this time of year. So that's great news coming forward. Looking at your highs tomorrow across the state, it'll still be a hot one. Tomorrow and Wednesday will feel very similar. We have a high of 96 in Norman, 98 in OKC, 99 up in Enid, and there will surely be a few triple digit temperatures sprinkled in throughout the state. Walking out the door tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., it'll be about 74 degrees. We'll make our way up to 91 around lunchtime, and then we'll start coming back down from our afternoon high to about 94 degrees once you're getting off from work tomorrow. Looking at your full seven day forecast, now we do have a scorcher of a week. Looking at Thursday, that's where our cold front is playing in. It's only dropping down temperatures a little bit, but if we look to the rest of the week, Friday we'll have a high of 96. Saturday we'll have a high of 97, but if you're going out to Memorial Stadium for that evening kickoff, temperatures should be cooler by the time everyone's in the stadium. And then Sunday, we have those lovely rain chances finally impacting us. We have 40% 
40% chance there as the cold front comes in heading into the week. Monday will be much cooler into Tuesday. Back to you guys with the desk.